Well, good day, YouTubers, friends, and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew Daily Events Worldwide. We are on April 5th, 2019. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Welcome to another video from Morning Dew. I'm sorry it's so late. I had to take a couple days off. Now, this was my video from yesterday I was going to make. And I just literally am overwhelmed and tired recently. So I had to take a couple days off. So I was warning in these areas here. Uh, south of Australia, um, the Atlantic Ridge, as well as the South Sandwich Islands. Now, those were my warning areas, and just recently, just this just in, we had a 6.6 .6 earthquake South Sandwich Islands. They're saying here 6.5, but it has now been upgraded. So at a 58 kilometer depth, South Georgia and the South Sandwich Islands, Visakoi Island. So this is the Bellany Islands region, or sorry, not the Bellany Islands, South Sa Sandwich Islands, where we have Mount Belinda, active volcano, and as well as Mount Michael. Now, notable earthquakes here, 5.8 earthquake in Japan, 368 kilometer depth. That's a very deep earthquake kind of having an earthquake swarm across the planet right now. It's moving all across the plates in the northern hemisphere and bouncing back to the south. Look at this 5.0 in Mayotte as well. 4.7 Bell and the Islands region. So this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes on our planet. It's very busy. 5.2 Pretty sizable earthquake, High High Fotonga in South America, Chile. But 6.5 at a 58 kilometer depth. And we're just going to go over to the Pacific Disaster Center and see if there are any tsunami warnings. And it looks like there is. So, of course, in the area of the earthquake, there are tsunami warnings. Visakoi Island, South Georgia, and the South Sandwich Islands. So, tsunami warning was issued but no tsunami threat is imminent so this tsunami warning goes all the way north to the Caribbean islands in the Gulf Coast of Canada and the US that's crazy very large earthquake affecting the other side of our planet 6.6 .6 earthquake. Now again, I apologize. I have not been able to do my videos the last couple of days. I've just been tired and uh, recuperating. But our sun has been very busy. And these are the images here of the active sunspot. As well, some pretty crazy plasma filaments incoming. Now stay aware and prepared because we do have... I don't remember if you remember the sunspot that was active the last couple weeks. Fired off three CMEs. Well, that thing is very active and is now incoming as it has gone around the back side of the sun and it's coming back. So stay aware and prepared. We'll be checking out the images over the next 24 hours. Let's get to weather brought to you by Meteor Earth, Meteor Mike. Watching still some snow falling, higher elevations, upper Midwestern United States, and as well, a lot of moisture across the Southeastern United States. Still sending off flood alerts and warnings. So stay aware and prepared as those spring rains are just Filling up those rivers in the east. I know Ontario has been seeing some flood alerts as well. But look at that large low in the Pacific. Just bringing in tons of moisture. The upper Midwest. Higher elevations getting a lot of snow. And you can see the temperature. Not really spring lake conditions in Alberta. And that's because of the cold high pressure ridge. It's still blocking any warm moisture from coming up into Canada. Meanwhile, 
the weather network is broadcasting that Canada is warming more than any other country in the world right now. Gee, shift the narrative much? We're on the verge of a grand solar minimum. Look at those cold temperatures in China. So we have, do have tropical storm, tropical cyclone number 23, still unnamed, will be heading across the northern parts of northwestern Australia. Another one developing in central northern Australia. Later in the week, not too much happening in Africa, except for heat. And across Europe, spring-like conditions... A lot of rain, but still extreme cold in parts of Germany and Austria, still receiving snow early in this spring season. It was minus three degrees Celsius. That's below freezing, everybody, here in Calgary. So we had quite the intense fog early this morning, and things are set to warm up over the next few days, but definitely not seasonable temperatures looking at mass evaporation across southern America and as well still snow falling in Quebec Atlantic provinces stay aware and prepared we're on the verge of a grand solar minimum thanks for watching today this has been Mike with morning dew daily events worldwide stay young and have fun and get your morning dew thanks for watching bye bye If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.